How's it going everybody? Mr. Pipes here and today um, I'm going to do a uh, cigar review but before we get into that um, if you are a Mountain Monsters fan or if you've heard of the show before um, on December 17th I believe um, the Ames team leader uh, Trapper John passed away and um, it sucks because I was really hoping to see him again on TV being out with his team and um, sad to say he uh, he took a turn for the worst and I'm not sure how the show is gonna progress or if we're even gonna have a show anymore um, I know there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, that stuff's fake, I don't watch it, blah, 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 waste of time. But for me, and for a lot of other people that believe that this world is, is way bigger than what, um, people think it is. You know, there's, you know, there's magic in, in this place, and I don't care what anyone says. Um... You know, the holidays bring magic. Um, a certain spot that you like to visit um, from time to time has a magical feeling to it. There's always magic. I don't care if you're, you know, what, what you believe in or what not you believe in, but um, I just wanted to say to, uh, to Trapper and his team, the Ames team, and along with their families and stuff like that, I wish that I wish that you guys will keep making the show. I hope, I wish that I wish that Trapper was still here so that you know, we could have seen him with the team again. Um, I just, like I said, I not that I wanted him to die, but I just hope that it was a peaceful one. I hope that it wasn't painful for him. And, uh, that's something that I just, you know, I hope, I hope he did enough in this life to where he can move on and be in a better place and not be stuck anywhere. And... I just, like I said, from, from me and from my girlfriend who enjoys this show, I really do hope that uh, Trapper John, um, we, we hope that he left on a good note and he didn't go on a bad note. And we just wanted to say thank you to Trapper for creating the team and creating this awesome, you know, show and all that stuff, and it was, it, I enjoy watching the show, and like I said, I just hope that he didn't pass on a bad note, and I hope that he went on a good note. Not that we want him to go, you know, but if he had to go, we just hope that he went in peace and not in sorrow, so that's what I wanted to to say and to get off my chest um but i kind of want to do a cigar review right now but i kind of don't but i think i will um i guess i don't think dedicating this this particular video to him is at least the cigar review to him wouldn't mean much but i will dedicate the the enjoyment that I've gotten out of the show and the enjoyment that me and my girlfriend or my fiance had with the show and I will I will say that I hope that the Ames team and uh, Trapper's family um, I wish you good well and um, and I hope that you guys can you know I just wish you guys the best that I can.
I hope you guys are doing well and we're sorry for your loss and not just, you know, not just because I want the show to come back and stuff like that, but because when I, when I watched the show for so long, you really get into the characters and you really get into the, to the making of the show and it's, you, it's, you know, you get used to it being around, you know, just like, you know, just like with anything, you get used to being around and all of a sudden it's gone. It's, it, it sucks, you know, so. We, um, we hope for the best for you guys and we just wanted to say thanks again for creating the team and allowing these men to fulfill their dreams and all that stuff and like I said it was I love the show I hope it comes back but if it don't that's fine too you know but um I just really wanted to say um thanks again Trapper for creating the the show and, and creating the team and I really do hope that you're resting in peace and um if you want to stick around for the uh, cigar review for this video, that's fine. If not, if you want to end it at that, that's fine too. But I guess in honor of Trapper, we can have a cigar. Let's have a smoke in honor of uh, Trapper, Trapper John, and uh, the rest of the Ames team, and along with Trapper's family. And uh, I don't think that's. I I don't think that would hurt anything to have a smoke in his honor. So if you want to join me for a smoke, if you have a pipe or a cigar, let's light it up in honor of Trapper John and um, let's enjoy the uh, remaining sunlight of the day of our New Year's Day, and I do want to wish you guys a Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a good Christmas, and uh, like I said, I just want to say thanks for subscribing. Thank you for for watching my videos. Like I said, I'm not the greatest video maker, but you know, it's, it's fun. I don't mind doing it. As you can see, you can see my tree in the background, and uh, let's get into it, all right? So... Today, I have a new cigar. I think this is my maybe fourth cigar that I've had. It is a torpedo cigar, as you can see by the tip. It's a Bahia Blue cigar. Very mellow cigar, very mellow smoke. It's about maybe... 10 points back away from the Bahia Red. Now the Bahia Red Maduro is like, say like this right here is the start of the, you know, nicotine level, the, the mellowness of the cigar. It's about maybe up to here. But the blue one, the blue one that I'll be smoking is from maybe about middle maybe a little bit more not too bad but I do still like the Bahia Red the Bahia Red is a good cigar cigar if you like say like you just ate dinner or you just had lunch and you want to smoke or something like that boom um I like it for an after dinner cigar or something like that but this one I like anytime so we'll go with that Now for this cigar, I'm going to unwrap it. You have to excuse me, it's flu season. There's been a flu and pneumonia going around here. Okay, Get, take a closer look at the cigar, real nice wrapper. Bahia Blue. It's a uh, handmade in Nicaragua um very good cigar and like I said with this cigar you have to have the the straight cutter I call it the guillotine cutter 
but you can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna put my ashtray. As you can see, I have one that I smoked. This is what the, the third one I smoked. I'll probably finish that later. Um, but I'm gonna try to smoke a full cigar. Okay. And when you cut it, the top part looks kind of like a Hershey's Kiss when you cut it. So I usually take these, I save them, and then I tear them up and I stick them in a pipe because I don't want to waste the tobacco. We'll have a good old smoke in honor of Trapper today. It is New Year's Day. Again, Happy New Year's to you. Uh, my brother Steven gave me this lighter. Real good lighter. 3 Jet. Um, he just recently bought a 4 Jet lighter um, from Cigars International. and He did a video Actually, he did two videos now. He had three, but he took one off, and then he put another one on, so technically he has two videos. He had more earlier, but deleted them for some odd reason, and now he has, he's getting back into it. So in honor of uh, Trapper John from Mountain Monsters, let's have a cigar or a pipe for him today, all right? Yeah, when I found out that Trapper John passed away, I saw it on YouTube. Some guy, I forgot what guy it was, and uh, I guess he was one of the producers or something like that. And uh, I went online and I looked it up, and it was true. It was he passed on, and I was like, oh man, because. Like I remember, I remember him talking. He was like, "Oh, I'm gonna come back as soon as I'm able to. I'm gonna come back." And you know, he was in a couple of episodes of the newer ones, season six. And I thought he was making a really good, you know, recovery. And uh, you know, he had that Walker thing. I think almost everyone has it. My my mom has that blue Walker, that four wheel Walker. And then shoot, my future father in law Keith. His mom has one, and uh, it's uh, you know it was sad, you know, when I found out that he's not coming back, you know, and you know you you know like when you you get into these TV shows, you really start liking them, and then you start getting obsessed, like oh I got you know like Wednesday night, I couldn't wait for Wednesday night, New Mountain. And, uh, I do have some Mountain Monsters on my DVR that, that has Trapper, and I think, uh, I might watch one or a couple tonight, I'm not sure, I only have four, I think that actually has Trapper in it, maybe, I think maybe two that only has Trapper in it, but I hope that one day I can get the, uh, DVD sets, and uh, the seasons and get those on get those on DVD and so I can watch them from the beginning and uh, like I said I still remember when Buck 
you know, when they first introduced Buck into the team, and now it feels like Buck's the new team leader almost, which I think he makes an excellent leader. You know, he doesn't really back out of things unless he's that uncomfortable, but normally he's always, you know, 110% right in front of you. And, uh, I remember when I was little, I used to like, I used to look at these cowboys, you know, they had their slickers on, you know, and and then all of a sudden, Trapper John, I, I remember him, he was in his slicker with his bolt action 30-30, uh, or not bolt action, lever action, I'm sorry, and I remember watching, you know, and he'd be in that big long coat with that cowboy hat like how I do which is um not a, not the same what he wears but um close enough to it and I wear my uh my my rain slicker um sometimes I might make another video uh tomorrow maybe um it's been like 60 some degrees here 50 some degrees here and now it's like 50 not even that, it's like 40, 48, 49, and it's still dropping. It's unbelievable. I'm like kind of shivering, but at the same time, I just, I really want to make this video. But, um, I really wanted to make it to let people know that we lost a really cool, um, television icon, and he will be missed. And so, like I said, let's have the smoke uh, in honor of him for my uh, video today. And like I said, if you're joining me at home, I really appreciate that. I don't have a lot of um, followers, and but the ones that probably are watching, I really do appreciate it. I know I got some new well, I had a comment from Deacon something Nick something I can't fully remember your name I got a comment from him about um, the Lord of the Rings pipe that he said he was gonna get a half link pipe which is pretty cool I love getting comments like that some you know that are telling you oh, I'm gonna buy this you know but that's you know pretty cool you know I really like that Beans 316 or something like that I got. He's a new subscriber. Um, and then the dragon. I always like watching the dragon stuff. I haven't really been commenting on it lately because, you know, I've only been having the time to watch some of the videos and then, you know, getting ready for Christmas and now it's New Year's and we've been pretty busy, you know, just... You know, winter, you know, finally here, officially winter's finally here in North Carolina. Um, you know, a lot of times our winter, winters are mild, but, you know, when it starts, when we start losing the sun like how it is now, it starts to get pretty cold. And with Brittany sick, with the, with the mild cold and moderate or mild cold and a, well, moderate cold and a, and a mild flu, she's, you know, she's not really feeling all that well today. Well, she's okay, but it's just, we got a fire built, um, not lit, but we always keep a fire built in the, uh, in the fireplace just in case of power outages I can't stand power outages but we get them a lot we've had some heavy winds um, yesterday on New Year's Eve and we had s not much heavy winds for today but there was still maybe about an hour or two today where we could really hear that wind cranking up in between the mountains and stuff you know just that just that, you know, sound of, like, oh, man, but, but, yeah, 
that Trapper John will certainly be missed, not just in the Ames team, but in the, you know, Discovery and the Travel Channel community that people watch, you know, the shows, so, you know, it's, 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 it sucks, you know, I, I, it was 72, and I think my grandpa, he, he didn't die until he was in his, his 80s. I think maybe 81, 80, 82. That's just like me. I, I really don't want to live until I'm 100. There ain't no point, you know. You know, for me, once we're in the point to where you can't do nothing anymore and you're just sitting around, you know, bathroom, couch, bathroom, couch, you know, and then slightly able to get to the kitchen to get something to eat because you're so weak and you can't, you know, that's one thing, you know, but. You know, if you're still able to do something, you're still, like, a, el, you know, uh, can't think of the word, eligible body person, you know, and you still want to go, that, you know, that's another thing. to restart my cigar but uh I love that show I tell you that right now like I said uh, Tell you right now, I highly recommend these Bahia Blues. They are, they're almost as good as my personal favorite cigar, and that's my uh, Toro Fuentes uh, Maduro. Just a regular Maduro cigar. It's nothing fancy. It's a good quality cigar. And like I said, if I couldn't get my hands on no more Toro Fuentes, I'd probably fill my box up with these blues. Um, like I said, I I like my mellow, I like my uh, harsher tobacco, especially after dinner. But for like, just like, oh, I just got up, I had a little light snack, it's my day off, I'm gonna go out and enjoy the sun, you know, beautiful spring day or a beautiful fall day or whatever. This is the choice cigar that I'm going to go with if I can't get um, any more uh, Toro Fuentes. So this one right here will do it for me. And again, we are smoking in the honor of Trapper John, and we're going to do some talking. And like I said, we're, I'm almost out of time. I got some time left, but uh, hopefully... My uh, phone won't go out on me for the storage space, but I should be okay. But I remember, I just, I, I'm going to miss, you know, I mean, I got it on my DVR. I mean, um, almost all the seasons have that, um, you know, when Trapper is like, let's go get that son of a bitch, you know, I'm going to miss that. And I was hoping to hear it at least one more time in a, in an episode, you know, but I guess not. And, uh, I do believe he's in another place right now. I do believe that, um, He's still on the hunt, you know, just because his spirit has left his body doesn't mean that his spirit's not, you know, out in them woods and looking and things like that. So I have a feeling that if Mountain Monsters were to continue on, I know for sure that Trapper would have their back and uh, 